Hey you guys, Eliana with Why Not Redesign. I am starting my video this week completely different. I'm in the middle of several projects at my shop and found the absolutely perfect piece for this week's challenge. This one, I had given up on. I was gonna take it to the trash and then I thought, you know what? This is that piece that I need to have a very good video for Earth Day. I'm going to save it. I'm going to redesign it. I'm going to do different things to it. I'm going to try to salvage all of the things that are wrong with it, which is not really a lot, but something that is just impossible. See all the damage? No legs, half a leg. I'm going to try to fix it. Let's see if I can. Welcome to this week's challenge. It's literally 102 degrees outside and we have all of the fans going that you can see because including this one that I have here on my neck because it's extremely hot outside. My building is not air conditioned so we keep those doors down. You see those doors I have one on either side and the background noise is my husband working himself. Um, but we have the doors down because it's the easiest way to keep the building cooler once it gets to around 95 degrees we gotta get the heck out of dodge it gets so hot that it's impossible to even breathe in here so we come in really early in the morning and then we work as long as we can with the temperature and then we get out of here usually when it gets around 95 degrees so if you see me drenched and if you see me sweating it's because it's really hot in here Let's get to the project. This is the picture that was uploaded on Marketplace, but it was not at all what this dresser looked like when I purchased it. It was a three piece set and I used the other two pieces for a uh, custom, but this one was literally falling apart. One of the legs was actually missing. The other one in the front was on there. The front lip needed to come off because it was broken and falling apart and all of the drawers are missing the drawer slides so all of that is going to be replaced i am using uh old drawer slides that I, from other dressers that i have laying around but the caps for the drawer slides will be brand new and that is simply because that's the best way to go around with these the slides are metal so the, the plastic caps that are need to be on there will be brand new I am using Dawn dish soap to clean up the dresser, which is one of the best things to do and safest for the environment. And using a brush to get into all of the nooks and crannies of the dresser and then wiping it clean with just a plain wet rag. Okay, so now that I have cleaned the piece thoroughly, I'm going to use milk paint and I'm gonna prepare the milk paint and bring you guys along on how I do it. Milk paint is one of the most sustainable paints there are because it's basically a powder that is combined with water. So Shack Toy Interiors is one of my favorites. I also have some farmhouse, farm, farmhouse finishes. Um, Lily Moon Paint has a brand new brand, uh, line that is amazing and I love it as well. Super easy to mix. Um, doesn't keep the little bubbles or little um, like little dots of paint if you mix it well if you follow their directions any of the manufacturers the milk paint is an amazing product to use super safe you can use it inside the house you can use it anywhere because it's literally powder that is colored and water so let me show you i don't have my lily moon paint here in the shop with me i have some of their other paint but i don't have their milk paint i have it at home um the hardest thing that is gonna happen will be to actually compromise on a color i absolutely love this blue it is called Sar Soldier Blue by Farmhouse Finishes. This one is pitch black. 
and from Shock to Interiors, I have Kettle Cold Green, Black Beach, which is my absolute favorite. See, I have two of those. I have Shell White, Beach Cottage, another Kettle Cold Green, Coastal Fog, and Coastal Gray. Kettle Cold Green definitely has my heart. I actually have this one already opened. Look at that beautiful color. Uh, what to do in between this two and between this two let me see let me try something so after all of that I decided to go with a black paint and mixing this paint is super easy same part paint or powder versus water you leave it um, on the side for about 10 to 15 minutes until it thickens and then you can apply it normally two coats is what does it but this paint was super amazing and only one coat was needed before I get off topic with milk paint you must use what you have left over within three days of mixing the, the, the paint so with the little bit that I had left over I'm probably gonna paint some frames or if I have something small that I can just paint um, black I'm gonna use that on it because if I store it and don't use it the milk rots out just like milk so keep that in mind I am done with that from a half a cup i have about that much i would say not quite enough to do a second coat but to do a half a coat there is some of the paint settle at the bottom so i can add just a little bit more water if i wanted to not too much because then it would uh, mess with the consistency of the paint but it's enough in there to mix it well and do another half coat so wherever if I wanted to add any more I'm gonna take you and show you that I probably will not need a second coat this is probably the first time that this has happened but I truly do not believe that I need a second coat of paint there's the top still drying as you can see but the coverage with this brand was absolutely amazing. I'm pretty pleased with the results. Let's allow it to dry and I'll come back with a top coat. Good morning, y'all. This is second day two of this redesign. And like a dummy, I thought I was recording, but apparently I had my microphone backwards and what you see me saying on the screen it's not what i'm saying right now because the microphone did not record so what i was meaning to say was that i did not get any chippy paint on this but it's quite okay because with just a simple and very light distressing of this i'm going to get pretty much the same effect as you can see the paint has a really good coverage and all i'm going to do is then go over it with just some 220 sandpaper or a sanding block and then take off all of that then uh, simply use some hemp seed oil to seal all of the paint that is left over as you can see right here on this video i am actually distressing it with that sanding block but i am barely putting any pressure on it and the paint is coming off super easily i'm letting all of the paint that wants to come off do that and then i will seal it with the hemp oil
at this stage as you can see if you apply any type of pressure to that rag that you're cleaning it with the rag is going to pick up a lot more of the paint if you want it to but if you don't then do not apply too much pressure on it there is proof that all of that paint can still come off even if you are not using a, an actual sanding pad so just keep that in mind So it's now time to apply the hemp oil and I use my one of my zebra brushes. I use my Palm Pro to apply it. I love it because it applies just like paint, just like any other top coat, but easier. It is an oil, so it's going to definitely soak into the wood and onto that paint. And you can definitely see it because it will be shiny when you first apply it. If you over apply, then just use a rag to take some of that oil back. Uh, that is one of the benefits that this application will have because you, you can do that. And you can do it immediately or you can do it 15, 20 minutes after you apply it. If there is excess that you apply, then you will see it because it will kind of just stay on top of the piece. It will be above that soaking point, basically, and you can just up, remove it with a rag and it will be super easy and it will dry to a matte finish so it looks amazingly I love it I don't use uh, hemp oil for example with chalk paint um, simply because I have chosen not to but this can be used with chalk paint as well and that's kind of where I'm saying on, the, on, on all of this but remember had my microphone on backwards so I apologize y'all I feel like this goes on a lot faster than applying top coat as well because you don't have to have that perfection factor included into the application you can apply it just liberally and then come back and use that rag to smooth it out and at the end of the time when it's dry it's just gonna dry matte so there is no imperfection shown it's a very cool process very user-friendly and very cool for a person who is doing this for a first time it's, a, it's super forgiving so that's very good Oh, this is how much I use of this bottle and that is what I would call it uh, perhaps a fourth So very little amount actually used for an entire application of a dresser. That is a Well, let's see. It's a five drawer dresser plus the door the sides and the top and That's all I use y'all very very good this is um, me wiping back some of that excess oil and this is after a 30 minute wait for the application. These are the legs that I'm going to be using on this dresser. They belong to a couch, I believe. My dad got these on the side of the road one day. He was driving around, so it stopped, grabbed them, brought them to me. And it's one of the last things that he did he used to pick up whatever he saw on the side of the road for me all the time I definitely miss him and I will miss 
all of the things that he used to bring to me. So remember the paint I had left over? Yeah. I forgot I hadn't done the the, uh, the legs. And I, I wanted to do, to leave them... Um, oh my goodness. I wanted to leave them um, unpainted, almost bare. But I haven't found in my stash a color that resembles this orangey-yellow type color under the when I when I um, sand it so I am opting for leaving them as they are and so here we go So I'm painting them, I'm going to let them dry, do the same process that I did on the dresser, sand them probably almost completely so that they look the same and it'll just look the same. Y'all, I just have a drop of sweat fall into my eye. Hold on a second because it stings. The struggle is real. It is hot. I do love my Texas though. My Texas is hot, hot in the summer, and I love hot weather, so I'm used to it. Nothing new for me. I've been living here forever in 10 days, so it's all good. No complaints from my hot weather. I'd rather have be, be hot than be cold. That is for sure. I'm gonna do this on all four legs and keep on going dresser is looking great now that I remembered that it had legs <laughs> so let's take one last look at how this dresser used to look like and I'm going to show you what it looks like now here it is it has been completely transformed with milk paint in an environmentally safe top coat sealer which is hemp oil you can also use wax or even a regular top coat if you decide to milk paint is an amazing product and i definitely recommend it especially for those of you starting out i want to thank miss flips for putting together this wonderful challenge one that makes us very conscious about what we do for our planet and i want to invite you all to subscribe and check out the link with the rest of the participants who are involved in this wonderful challenge. All of the information is in the description. And as always, check out the rest of my videos, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys on the next video next week. Thanks, y'all. Bye.